All right. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, I'm glad to be here. Uh, I'm here today to uh, tell you why you shouldn't trust your reflection. Uh, specifically, I'm here to tell you why uh, Glader here shouldn't trust his reflection. Now, uh, Glader is a dragon that's uh, pretty full of himself, so each day he spends a lot of time in front of the mirror admiring himself. Uh, it's pretty sad, but uh, he probably thinks he, was, he knows his reflection pretty well by now. Uh, he thinks it shows him who he is. Uh, he may not realize that his reflection uh, could behave completely differently were to be set free. Now, that might sound a bit dramatic, but uh, what I'm actually describing right now is the concept of uh, enantiomerism. Uh, so basically, in the real world around us, there are a lot of molecules that are exactly like uh, Glader and his reflection. I mean, no, they don't actually breathe fire, uh, but rather they are a, a pair that look exactly alike, except that they cannot be superimposed. Uh, so if you all have a look at your hands right now, you'll, uh, you'll hopefully see that they look exactly alike, right? They both have the same set of five fingers. But if you try to imagine both hands occupying the same space, you'll find that there's no way to make it work. And that makes your two hands like two distinct, different molecules that can have distinct and very different properties. And so to describe this, scientists say that these kinds of molecules are chiral. And so it just so happens that the amino acids in, uh, that make up the proteins in virtually uh, all life forms are the kinds of molecules that are chiral. They have a mirror image. And so in our bodies, all amino acids are left-handed molecules. And that's actually important because it means that the proteins they build interact differently with other chiral molecules. For example, drugs you might get at the pharmacy. So uh, you might have heard of the Contragen scandal of the 1960s, basically about a drug that was supposed to help with the morning sickness in pregnant women. Which one of the mirror images did? The other mirror image, though, caused serious deformations in the children they were carrying. And uh, tragically, no one was aware of the time. So hopefully, you can see that it can sometimes be crucially important to obtain just one of the mirror images at high purity. And uh, so that brings me to what I do professionally, which is to stick uh, catalysts that can basically produce rare molecules into proteins. And uh, so the reason I do that is uh, specifically to exploit the chiral environment of proteins I mentioned. So basically, to use the proteins to force the catalyst to produce just one particular mirror image. And uh, so by doing that, until now, we have already learned a lot about how to change proteins to reach these goals. And that is why you shouldn't trust your reflection. Thanks for your attention.